Hey, welcome back to another session on the Model Railroad. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about upgrading my switching system. So we're talking about going from this uh, to this and this. I'm going to go over the pieces and parts I use to do this, uh, and it's a mix of old and new products. Here's why. First of all, I'm using these Atlas snap switches with the twin coil switch machine. Um, I've got a bunch of them on hand. They're reliable, and honestly, I had them as a kid. And there's something nostalgic about this particular brand for me. But on my new railroad, uh, I wanted lighted indicators on the control panel uh, and a matching trackside signal to tell me what position the turnout was in. And I wanted the lights to be automatic when I hit the switch. Now, in order to do this, I use two products. The first being this touch toggle snap action base. This replaces the old slide switch, and along with the touch toggle switches themselves, it can control four turnouts. You get a colored indicator on the control switch, the unit has its own power supply, and it's quiet. Now the second product is the Snap Relay from Atlas. Uh, once again, uh, these gizmos have been around for years, and in fact, I bet I've had some of these that I'm using for over 15 years. Uh, anyway, uh, this relay is what gets you the trackside lighting. Here's how it works. First, from the base, you take the three wires that would normally go to the turnout and connect them to the snap relay first, then continue on to the turnout. Second, run one leg of AC accessory power to the common on the snap relay and the other leg track side for the signal. Uh, I use my old power pack. Uh, also, run wires from A and B on the snap relay to track side for the signal. That's a total package of six wires to track side, three for the turnout control and three for the signal light. Now, this lighting setup is for two lights at trackside, red and green. Uh, there are instructions for this and other configurations in the handy dandy instruction sheet that comes with the snap relay. So anyway, I took two lights I had hanging around and hooked them up to test the system. Uh, one leg of each light gets joined in the middle, uh, and that connects to the direct power leg, in my case the white wire. The outer legs get connected to the two wires that come from A and B on the snap relay, uh, black and red here. Now you can see the whole configuration here. I use some terminal strips to help with power distribution. I also had a bunch of five conductor ribbon wire hanging around, uh, which along with uh, some single 20 gauge wire uh, became my package of six wires going to each turnout. And so that's it really. Turn on the power for the relays. You can see already the trackside signal is on and start switching. Trackside matches the control panel. Uh, someday I'll have these gorgeous signal lamps and the wiring is all in place. A few notes about these touch toggles. Uh, first of all, uh, they work great right out of the package. Uh, and there's good instructions too. Uh, and if you don't already have snap relays or plan to use them, touch toggles has another module that will work with the snap base and power the trackside signals. And I really like the fact that the modules can hook together to share the same power supply, so easily expandable. Uh, you can find all this stuff online. It, really nice folks over there. I couldn't be more pleased uh, with the products and service. Uh, so that's a wrap from here, and thanks for hanging out.